again in the garden of our, our latest project. Now it's quite an overgrown garden. Now, I have cleared a lot of that and you'd be surprised how much you can clear with one of these bow saws. Uh, but there was the sheer quantity of cutting. To be honest, I was getting tennis elbow. So I thought I need to get something a bit more oomph. So we thought we need a chainsaw. Now looking at the higher shops, you can get a petrol chainsaw for about £75 per day, which will get you a really good chainsaw, but it's just for one day. Or you can buy an electric chainsaw for about £100. In the end, I went for the Makita UC3541A, which costs about £97. I got it from Amazon. Uh, I'm coming, becoming an increasing fan of the Makita products because this has a vibration rating of 4.7 per meter second squared which means you can use it for about two hours before you get to the health and safety actionable thresholds. Two hours basically is the safe amount of time you can use it for per day. You can use it for longer, but you've got to monitor things like white finger and other vibration related uh, injuries. Yeah, the comparable Bosch model is actually slightly better from a vibration point of view, coming in about four meters per second square, which will give you about three hours of use. Now, the reason I didn't go for the Bosch was the chain speed on the Bosch is about nine and a half meters per second compared to 14 and a half meters per second on the Makita. So you can, in your two hours on the Makita, you get a lot more cutting done than you will do in your three hours of the Bosch. Well, that's the way I figured it anyway. Uh, from a sound point of view, uh, the Bosch was 95 decibels, which would give you about a quarter of an hour of safe use without ear defenders. And the Makita is 90 decibels, uh, which is about three quarters of an hour of use without ear defenders, but as soon as you get over 80 decibels, put your ear defenders on, it's, it, it's just madness not to. Assembly's five minutes, oil reservoir, cable tensioner there, so you want it so, it's, so it doesn't come out of the guide, a little bit of play on it. So there you have it, the Makita chainsaw. I think it, for the money, I think it's okay. It's, uh, it does a job. Yeah, a petrol one will do it a lot better. So if you're expecting fantastic results comparable to a petrol stage chainsaw, you won't get it. But you gotta remember, this is a hundred pound where a good quality petrol one will cost you pretty much that for a day's use. For lightweight garden use, I think it's a really good product. Hope that was useful. See you on the next one.